My name is Sean McLaughlin. I'm the CEO of Airframes Alaska, and I'm here with Doug Keller, engineer at Airframes Alaska. So in front of you, behold, the titanium tailspring. Okay, so Doug, talk to me about this product. What are we dealing with here? So, and, and to help you, I brought a, oh, geez, can you hold that? I brought an old tailspring. The most obvious thing is this is steel. This is titanium. It's a three pound weight reduction. So a three pound savings. Correct. And also this is a leaf spring with three leaves. This is a single billet wire EDM uh, titanium tail spring. Okay. You have my attention. All right, yeah. what else? Why, why do we well, like this product? Well, weight, we're, we're trying to save weight everywhere we can. People sometimes don't like saving weight in the tail though. Well, yeah, when they're empty by themselves, they don't. But when they have a person and a baggage, a moose in the back, then they then they like to. So wait. they get the option. Yeah. So they, this basically, if it's light, they can make it heavy. Right. If it's if it's heavy, you can't make it light. Your right? airframes, we're going to lose weight everywhere. Okay. Tail, front end, everywhere we can. So these are obviously going to be more expensive than the old uh, car leaf spring. What, does it have anything else to offer besides three pounds in weight savings? Well, it's also much more elastic. Okay. Talk so to me about that. What do you got this going is on? much stiffer than the titanium. Titanium is much more elastic and it uh, less fatigue, it's more fatigue resistant. Hey, this is heavy, you, you hold that one. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So it's less fatigue uh, resistant? It, it, yes. So it's gonna have a better spring and it should come back to shape. Right, we've, okay. been, we've been testing this in the field and one of the big criteria we're testing is permanent set. So we load the tail of the airplane up, set it, let it sit for weeks and weeks and, it, and we release the weight and it comes back to the exact same position. position. Now these don't do that. Over time, if you overload these, they flatten out. And flatten out has a lot of consequences with shimmies and whatnot. So, um, Got it. And these look, I mean, they look perfect. They look, I'm used to tail springs being sort of all over the place, you know. Exactly. So what's the story here? So wire EDM is kind of like, if you can imagine a, a hot knife and foam. Yep. A, oh, yeah. a knife and just blows through the material, except obviously a hot knife's not gonna do this. It's electronic discharge machine. So it goes pretty okay. slow, but it's extremely accurate. So our arch is perfect and it's, and it's perfect spring to spring. And I notice it's thicker up here, thinner down here. That's to get the right spring rate. Got it. So um, this is basically trying to achieve the same thing in a much cruder fashion. Got it, got it. Uh, so that's what this whole thing does is exactly. achieve spring rate. So you went through testing, you've gone through it. Yes. And Initially, then, we, we had two stiff. Okay, so we had to modify this design. Yeah. Okay, and then we've been flying it. Exactly, yes, an experimental aircraft. Experimental aircraft, okay. We've had a, about a season and a half uh, use on it, in very extreme conditions. And here, this is basically titanium bolts. Yeah. Titanium hardware to attach the spring to. Again, weight Whole reduction. weight reduction. I mean, we, we might in the future want to supply titanium bolts for, for other lot, aspects. For other aspects yeah. too. They could use the old steel if they want. Exactly. They want to save less weight. Save Correct. some money. Save some money. Save some money. Okay. All right. That's what else? What else we got? To, oh yeah. Here's the old metal. Yeah. That's the old steel part. Okay. So what else do we need to tell them? Well, uh, if this is successful, we might go to other aircraft like Scouts and Huskies. Uh, got it. Again, the market's going to tell us what to do. Um, if, if customers really like this product, we'll keep bringing it. So there are also a bunch of shocked tail springs out there. How would you compare this to the shock tail spring? We sell one, we sell the T3. Right. Is that for a different application? What was the story? How would you compare it to that? Well, that's, that's a, a personal biased thing. Okay. Um, I, so it's up to each pilot's bias? Each has, yes, yes. Yeah. Um, there's, the shock is nice, but there's also some side effects of maintenance. Yep. And durability. Yep. Um, the, to me, I like it simple. Less is more for me. All right. So it's one of these things where we, we've got the T3 out there for people who want the shock type treatment. People who want to keep it simple, like maybe perhaps some of the uh, you know, deep bush pilots and just don't want things that can have an issue sort of on a rock or anything like that might go for this. Right. So we're, we're taking weight off and those suspension ones are adding weight. Adding weight. Okay. Got it. So it's that kind of, that's kind of your judgment. And, and this is really flexible more so than this. So we kind of get a little bit of that shock feeling, not, not to the same extent, but yep. we get a little bit more over this. With a simple Simple. This, this you bolt it on and walk away. Got it. For the life of the airplane. 
Say I don't like the color of titanium, can I paint these things? You can paint them whatever color you want, but there's no need to because it's totally corrosion resistant. So totally, so you don't need to paint them? Don't need to paint it. All right, so again, just to reiterate, these are experimental right now, but they'll be available for sale on our website. You can go there for availability and pricing. And we are pursuing the STC for these as well, and there'll be more news on that when we move forward in the process. Thanks very much.